this is a theme I have for my Raspberry Pi. And so it's different than the default Raspberry Pi OS theme and it's also a dark theme which Raspberry Pi OS doesn't have. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, this is Fortnon from Super User Projectile. Today I'm going to show you how to refresh the look a little on your Raspberry Pi. So if you know you are using your Raspberry Pi a lot and you just have kind of gotten tired of the default user interface, you can refresh it with this tutorial. So we are going to change things up a little and follow along here. So first thing you want to do is open a terminal window. And I have a few commands for you to type. So you want to type sudo apt install and then we are going to install multiple packages here. So arc-theme breeze-cursor-theme papyrus-icon-theme and then after that we will do dash y. And so let's install that right here. And so we will come back when it is done. So it's done here and I also am going to download a wallpaper from Pling so I'll leave this link in the description but this is a site where you can get different themes for Linux and stuff like that. So I'm just going to download this here but you also back here there is a secret um, theming window that we can open up. So just do LX appearance and press enter this will open up right here and so now we have our new themes right here so I'm going to go with this one and then I'm going to do an icon theme so I'm going to do you know one of these I can do the dark since I did the dark on the other and then the mouse cursor we can do breeze or breeze snow I'm going to do the regular breeze and then the window border I'm also going to do our dark and so now we can apply these right here and see that changes the UI and so there are some other things we need to do and we need to reboot for our full experience. I'm just going to close that. You can reopen it at any time and I'm going to download my wallpaper. So we have that right here and I'm going to apply my wallpaper and so you can obviously use just anything that you like. I just found one really quick from Pling and so I have that right there but now I'm going to move the menu bar to the bottom so it's more like windows and then on the desktop I can also use this preferences window and I can remove the wastebasket and the mounted discs and so now we have that here but I want to customize the panel a little bit first of all I'm going to change the application launch bar settings and so I'm going to add um, some things that I use so I'm just going to add like writer and so you can you know do this with any of your themes but I'm just going to customize it how I like it and so I just add you know some programs that I use fairly often so I can add that and there we go and so then I'm going to make this panel a little bit bigger so if you want to do this you can but of course you don't have to and I'm going to make it, I guess I'll stay on the smaller size, but then there will be more padding around it. But that makes it more like windows. And so that is, you know, kind of about it for, for this theme. Um, you can also install other themes. You can get some from Pling, get some from Gnome Look, get some, you know, from other places. I will leave links to those sites down in the description. You can also... Um, rearrange these right here and so if you want to rearrange the icons you can do that and so then also you can you know change other things about the taskbar and other things like that but one last thing I would like to show you in the chromium web browser is you can right click on it and then you can uncheck this option and then it will give you like the arc theme you know, window border that's, you know, in Chromium, so it's not like the other thing that it normally does. I think it looks better, and most of all, it saves space right here, so you don't have that thing above it, it's just right integrated here, and I think that is a lot better there, and then if you want to, you know, get a better start page here, you can also change the search engine, but that is it, 
And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it has been helpful to you in theming your Raspberry Pi and we will see you next time.